So, J.D. Bean, yes. your turn in the hot seat. Uh-oh. Yeah, I did mine the other day, so this is your turn. It's quite it's nerve-wracking, it, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it is difficult. So, because we're sort of talking to the patients and emails and whatever, clients, that we're going down this route of, of client journeys, yeah. um, we're also talking about our own journeys, aren't we? We to, are. We are, yeah, and this is definitely, uh, I would like to call it, I think that it's going to be a year of transformation for the both of us in different ways. Yes, I hope so. Yeah. But for me, yes, it's more, less aesthetic, well, it's still aesthetic, isn't it? It's weight-based. My big, big issue is my weight. Which is really honest of you to say. Oh, don't cry. <laughs> That's not getting posted. Oh, <laughs> you're an ugly cry. So. <laughs> so you've had issues with your weight. And yes. I think if, if people have, have lost eight minutes of their life and watched mine, then they'll sort of know that my issues started probably around the same time as your issues did, which was when we lost Josh. Can you pause? Yes. We had a little comfort break there. <laughs> As you can see, it's quite an emotive topic. Yeah, but I think that's I think that's really brave of you because I think it is for so many people. So many people. Yeah, it's been an ongoing battle for years. Oh my god, I can't believe really I'm crying. I've got the, <laughs> I actually post this self race to rip it out of me. No. Um no. But yeah, but for me it's been a, an issue for years. Um I lost a lot of weight pre lockdown, I was really happy with how yes, I Yes, you were competing, weren't you? Yeah. Powerlifting. And everyone knows I do powerlifting and mm. I still do that, but I also do powerlifting plates of food into my face. <laughs> Um, <laughs> this, again, classic covering up the things you I, know, I know. But yeah, so obviously everyone knows it's been. I mean, it's been a tough year. What well, a few years for a, few, a lot of people. Yes, yeah. We've had some fairly shit things going on, and I eat my feelings. And I, as we say, I eat if I'm happy, I eat if I'm sad. <laughs> but it's definitely been something I've lost uh, a grip on and control of over the last few years. And there's always been convenient excuses not to sort it out. Um, and I'm, I'm actually sick of, of trying to convince myself yeah. it's not a problem. So this year, I really need to lose some weight. And it, and it is obviously for health. You know, I'm not of a healthy physique. I'm strong, but I'm not fit or healthy. Right. So, so that's my goal for this year is to shed a few stone and be healthier. But in light of the whole sort of journey that we keep coming back to... That will be my personal journey that will that will make a big difference to so many things. So for me, I know it sounds odd because we're in the aesthetics industry and it's about our face, but it's not. It's, it's about yeah, aesthetics it, is the whole It is, thing. And, it, and it does impact your face because we've done acrylics, yeah. then we've done filler, then we've done more acrylics. Yeah, and I've eaten this chin back on more times than I could care to imagine. It me a fortune. A fortune. And I've been in a very privileged position that I can even have it dissolved in the first place. Because she has me. <laughs> me. So I'm fully aware of that. But for what it would mean for me if I lose a couple of stone, for example, is my confidence. The things that it stops me doing, potentially dating. And I say potentially because I am notoriously single and happy for it. I am generally in my life, I'm very blessed and I am very happy. And you have I, dated. I have. And it's not stopped But yet. I don't feel that I need somebody in my life. But mm. I also don't feel confident. Mm. I I don't think you should date unless you've got your shit together and you're happy with you. Mm -hmm. That's my personal opinion. I think you can't expect that of someone else if you haven't got that. Yeah, no, nobody else can fix you. Can no, they? exactly. Yeah. So that's one thing. Um, but it's also really silly things I haven't even realised. Like, for example, when I went diving once... <laughs> So I've got so many stories that are weight related. I had um, weights put on my dive belt and I thought, yeah. no, it's because fat is buoyant. And so they needed to help sinking me. Um, <laughs> I also had another incident where I went skydiving and I had to pay basically a fat tax. Oh, Like if you were over a certain weight, you had to pay more. And I still to this day don't know why. Because yeah, my argument was, I'm going to hit the ground quicker. <laughs> I'll get less of an experience. <laughs> I want a discount. <laughs> and then there's, you know, other things like, I think, Christ, what if I'm on the plane and I need a, a, a seatbelt extender? Oh, know, there's all I these know. little things. And, Wearing cozies, you know, isn't oh it? Oh my God. So we've just been to Iceland. I thought, Christ, me in a swimsuit it made me feel like panicked. And, oh, and this, But this is really silly because it's all within my control. But 
and I, I'm trying to bring it back to the whole journey thing. It's mm. it's a state of mind. That yes. is yeah. the biggest thing. And there'll be plenty of people that will look at me and go, oh, you don't look that overweight and oh, you look fine. I feel like shit yeah. when I look at myself, yeah. whether that be my face and or I my body. I think that's right. But do you, though, when you look at your face, I think that's why you make a lot no, of your face in your head. Yeah, I like yeah. to you know, try and distract from yeah. the neck down. So, I mean, I love my hair, the colour it is. But it helps that that's the focal point. Yeah. Um, you know, I've got my piercing. That's not for a talking point. I like it. But again, it helps. People always talk to, about how, how nice my skin is. And it is. Again, I make sure I look after this because I find that a lot easier than this. So, that's so your my... journey is going to be an interesting one from clinic point of view. I don't really... Well, the way that I'm kind of trying to sort of link that back to make it relevant for any of you watching or, or sort of taking note of said journey is that when I lose fat obviously your face is made up of fat pads as mm. well and so I when I had a banging body pre-lockdown yeah, you looked ill I didn't look ill but you I did. looked old I definitely aged because yeah. obviously the fat pads support your skin structure so I felt that although my body looked great my face did so I'd like to really find a nice happy medium yeah. and shit it's not about anybody else it's about how you feel it's your confidence yeah. your self-esteem yeah and you'd be, you'd get out there and do more activities. Then I would, you're... I would be more social mm. again. I mean, I've, I'm not reclusive, but I do like you. I talk to people all day, every day. I love what I do. Um, but I don't really feel that inclined to go and do much else after. And I think if I was in better shape, I probably would. Thank I you. Think that's it for now. I think I that's really cry. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> people will just relate to it. So honestly, we're all human, aren't we? Yeah. Right, darling. So we'll keep everybody posted then over yeah. the coming months. Okay. Lovely. Thank you very much for sharing. You're welcome.